latest on June 2nd around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. The tropics are still waiting for their next name storm anywhere in the world right now and uh, we're still waiting for number 27. There is one system active around the globe at this time and that comes, somewhat surprisingly, maybe not, in the Atlantic. Invest 91L has a 60% chance of formation according to the National Hurricane Center on day two of hurricane season. The next name is Barry. In the Eastern Pacific, any disturbances have gone. We're on day 19 there, and we're still waiting for the first name storm. In the Indian Ocean and the Western Pacific, there are no systems active at this time. Invest 92A dissipated earlier. And in the Southern Hemisphere, it is all quiet here as well, with more animations from the season just past going to be uploaded on the channel very soon. Here is a look at Invest 91L with winds of 25 miles an hour estimated 1008 millibars. It's at 19.8 north, 94.6 west, which is just about off the coast of Veracruz in the Bay of Campeche. Expected to move towards the northwest over the next couple of days, uh, will live a pretty short life, but could become a tropical depression or storm in that short window that it's got. Wind shear is low to moderate, 10 to 15 knots, the higher further north, of course. Um, but you can see how the system's been developing on that imagery there as well, gradually moving towards the west-northwest. Wind shear will be pretty constant all the way up until its eventual landfall. So look at the wider picture in the Atlantic Ocean. You can see what's out there, very little really. Um, just some uh, interesting weather moving through the Caribbean islands there, frontal in nature, not much going on with that particularly. Just off to the left hand side you can just about make the edge of the current invest. You'll get a better look on the Gulf of Mexico view now and you can see it there developing off towards the southeastern part of the Gulf and slowly moving towards the west northwest. We'll look at that properly in a little while. The eastern Pacific looks like this, it's uh, still very quiet, um, one or two little areas of convective activity in the very deep tropics towards the equator really uh, that is very typical at this time of year nothing is likely to spin out of these systems um, we're going to be looking towards activity further east of course early on in the season the western pacific is also equally quiet uh, very calm tropics um, typically is at this time of year but you do get the odd storm the philippines starting to deal with a few thunderstorms there especially over palawan and mindanao and also a blob there in the gulf of tonkin in the Australian and South Pacific region, things very quiet here. Uh, a few thunderstorms flaring up off the Solomon Islands, but really pretty quiet state of affairs. The Indian Ocean, you can just about make out what's left of Invest 92A, well into the Gulf of Aden by now, and uh, a few thunderstorms brewing uh, in the tropical zone won't amount to much. Sea surface temperatures right now look like this in that southwestern Gulf region. Temperatures around 28 degrees Celsius or so, certainly enough to sustain a tropical cyclone. Even warmer waters further south in the eastern Pacific side, 30 degrees plus. The uh, main development region of the Atlantic is warming up nicely, I must say, uh, for this time of year. It's looking pretty decent already. The Indian Ocean, very warm as you'd expect, 30 degrees plus in the Arabian Sea. And same too for the South China Sea and around the Philippines in general. It's a hot spot in the Western Pacific right now where we could be seeing some significant activity later on in the season. Obviously we can't say what just yet. Invest 91L looks like this on the satellite imagery. Uh, rather messy you could say still, uh, but there are signs of a circulation developing if one isn't fully developed. Uh, I think we're still a little bit away from getting a proper circulation in this system, but once that does happen we could possibly be looking at a tropical depression here. The next name on the list, if it does get to name storm status, would be Barry. Andrea happened a few uh, days, well, on more than a week ago now. Um, in the East Eastern Pacific, the first name is Alvin. The next name in the Central Pacific is Akoni. Elsewhere, Sepat is the next name in the Western Pacific, and Vayu is yet to come in the North Indian Ocean. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find us on YouTube if you're not there already. Subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook and Twitter accounts, search Force 13, all in text. Very near the end of the, strictly speaking, year in the Southern Hemisphere, the season animations are being uploaded to the Force 13 channel as we speak this weekend. Next update tomorrow. 
You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord, it's Fool13 at extension 9094 and Force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for Tropical Weather Chat in our description.